Here is the little wrap without a knot. As its name may suggest, it is a short piece of fabric. It's a rectangle, sewn on two rings. Thanks to these rings, we will be able to shape the baby carrier and to adjust with no need to tie any knot and with as much precision as the baby wrap. The little wrap without a knot is designed in France and manufactured in Europe. It is a knitted fabric composed by two layers that are bonded to one another with a very high technical procedure that offers great support and yet extraordinary softness of the knitted fabric. The first thing I do, even before putting the fabric through the rings, is to decide which color I want to wear today, because the little wrap without a knot is completely reversible. Today, I decided to use the have a gray color that matches my t-shirt. The other question I have to ask myself is, on which side do I want to carry my baby? Because I have the possibility to carry my baby on both sides, whether it is against my torso, for a newborn, or on either side of my hips, for an older baby. Personally, this is the side that works the best, so this is why I put the rings on the opposite side. The two rings should be placed on my collarbone, and I will spread the fabric all over my shoulder and forearm. I reach behind my back and I will grab the closest hem to my spine and place the fabric under my armpit. I gather the fabric by making small regular folds without twisting. The indicator for a non-twisted fabric is to have only one color visible. I pass the gathered fabric inside both rings from bottom to top. And then I pull. As you can see, the only color visible against my chest is the gray color, which is the same as on my shoulder. And now that the fabric has been passed through both rings, when I will pass the fabric inside one ring, it will turn blue. In order to pass the fabric between the rings, I'm going to grab the upper edge using one hand and grab the fabric at this corner I spread the rings and I'm going to pass this little corner with the blue color of this ring, the one that is further from my face, and under the other ring, the one that is closer to my face. I pull. I pull the edge with the logo label on it and I pull so that the blue part of the fabric is visible. As you can see, the fabric that passes between the rings must be completely blue. The fabric that comes out vertically must also be completely blue. So I'm going to slip my hand inside to show you more precisely. The fabric here is grey and it goes through the rings and it becomes blue. And when I pull the fabric to pass it inside the rings and lock my baby carrier, I will pull horizontally on both sides like this. I pull horizontally because I want the fabric to be spread around the whole circumference of the ring. As you can see, the fabric takes the shape of sun rays. And that's why every time I'm going to pull the fabric, I'm going to pull it this way. Like sun rays. Never straight like a pouring rain. This is a visual tip that helps you remember the right way to pull. So now, let's see the little wrap without a knot at work. Like all the baby carriers in its category, that are called ring slings. It is an asymmetrical carrier. One shoulder is covered. The baby is placed on the opposite side. Let's imagine the baby is here, positioned vertically. Here is his head. Here is his bottom. When he's inside the carrier, his weight blocks the fabric from slipping inside the rings. The fabric doesn't move and stays blocked here. 
Now that we've passed the fabric through the rings, we're going to pre-adjust the carrier in order to facilitate the installation with baby. To do this, I'm going to slip my hand inside the baby carrier and simulate the presence of a real baby. Imagine the head of the baby here. It will be at kissing height. I must make sure to place the fabric at neck and ears level. My elbow here represents his bottom. The lower edge of the fabric must be tightly tucked underneath his bottom to offer a correct hold. This is why the lower edge of the fabric must be shortened. So how do I do this? I bring all the excess fabric towards the rings and I pull horizontally to get rid of all the slack. The upper edge will stay against my hand. I do the same thing with the lower edge. I will pull the slack closer to the rings and remove all this excess fabric by pulling on the outer side of the panel. I place my fingers close to the rings and pull in order to have more impact. As you can see, because I made the lower hem shorter, I have created a small pocket in which baby's bottom will be able to fit. Now that my little wrap is pre-shaped and the fabric is correctly passed through the rings, I could take the baby carrier off and wear it back again without having to go through all these previous steps again. I take it off and I put it on again. And the great thing about it is that if I prefer to carry my baby on this side, but my partner feels more comfortable using the same ring sling by carrying the baby on the other side, that's not a problem at all. Let's say the other person wants to carry the baby on this side, so they'll put the rings where they should be at the end, with the little tie part facing outwards, and they'll pull the carrier back on, putting it on top of their head and the opposite hand. The only thing that we have to do is to eventually adjust the carrier again to fit their size and morphology. I hope you liked this video and that you'll find it useful. Please give us a little thumbs up, comment, share, ask your questions. We are here to help.